Good morning, this is Kenny with the House of Blades and we're going to talk about uh, replacing a, an axe handle on a, on a mall from Grantford's Brook. We had a customer that uh, had purchased this particular item and uh, broke the handle and so I'm going to do my best to try to replace it with a, a new handle that Grantford's Brook uh, sent us. So thank you to Grantford's Brook for sending us a replacement handle. So first thing I did was take an eighth inch drill bit and drill onto the top of it um, to kind of core it out, core out the top of the handle. Then I went to an eighth inch uh, drill bit to finish it out. Then I took a, a hammer and kind of knocked all the inside out, kind of loosened up the top part of the, the axe handle and um, gave it a whirl. I've never done this before so you know I'm going to make a few mistakes along the way and if you're out there in the the world of YouTube or wherever you may see this video, we'd appreciate if you could send us some, some better tips on how to replace it a lot easier than the way I did it. Um, because I'm always willing to learn. You know, I know I, I dang sure didn't do it correctly the first time. So, you know, please give us a shout out or shoot us a text, a message or, or anything or an email on, on how to do it or, or shoot your own video and send it to us because we'll dang sure play it too. So bear with me. So I'm outside now. Uh, working on this thing. I, I needed a, a surface that was a solid so I could smash it on evenly. So I took, we walked downstairs and I took the, the Grantress Brooks and smashed it into the driveway to get an even uh, pressure. And you can see it went on evenly. Then I, I grabbed, I pushed it on with my left hand while hammering it with my right hand to keep as much pressure as I could to try to get it all the way down evenly. So I'm going to bang it on there and so I get it to a point where I feel like, you know, it's it's far enough down. Then I realized, well, smashing it on the top closed the, the area for where the wedge was going to go into. So I had to take out my my CRKT that uh, Doug Flag with um, CRKT gave me. Uh, it's a canned onion knife that he gave me at the shot show about probably three or four years ago, and uh, I carry it. So sometimes, not all the time. Um, I used a, a dividend as well. We have an exclusive dividend that uh, one of the girls that works here had as well, and I used it in the video. Um, so thank you to CRKT and Kershaw for um, y'all's fine products. And let me give a shout out again to Grandsters Brooks for taking care of the customer uh, by sending us a free handle. This probably isn't the safest thing to do with a liner lock because I'm sitting there wedging it in there and putting a lot of pressure on there. So if you decide to do this, I would suggest probably a, a different tool, maybe a fixed blade if that's all you got. But if you've got a pocket knife, just be careful. Try to cut away from yourself if at all possible. You won't get cut. So now I'm going to cut the shim down. I had to shave it down a little bit to get it sharper so it'll go into the wedge. Where the wedge would, I'm sorry, fit in the area that it needed to go into. So I trim it out and I realize I still need to clean out the inside part of the, the axe head where it was still smashed together. Then I finally get it cut right, so I hammer it down. Well, while hammering it down, I would say not all hell breaks loose, but I'm about to have a snafu real quick here in a second. If you keep on watching, you're going to see a little split in the wood. Oh, there it is. The wood split on me. I wasn't expecting that, but you know what? I just kept on going because I feel like it's if I get it tight enough, it'll be good enough. So I didn't have another shim to put in there, so we just kept on going, and it, it held up fine. And I decided to go ahead and put the, the metal wedge in there to kind of seal it in there and a, a bow saw that for a tree and I didn't have one of those so one of the girls that works here for some weird reason keeps one in her car I don't really know what she does on her spare time so you know I know y'all have watched some movies about people cutting things up but don't know really what she does with her saw so I'm just glad she had it for me always be prepared you never know what what you're gonna need when you're gonna need it so I go ahead and put the wood the wood shim in there or the wood wedge whatever you want to call it to hammer down the wooden wedge in there so 
I get it going and I go ahead and hammer it down and it, it goes in pretty good. Um, you know, like I said, it's the first time I've done it. So like I said, if you're out there in the World Wide Web, please reach out to us and let us know. He complete, I completely did it wrong because I probably might have, I don't know. Like I said, I'm hoping that it works out, but you know, I'm gonna test it out before I send it back to the customer. So let's see what we got out here. Here in the middle of our side of our building, and we'll try to. Uh, okay, so that's my foot. We're gonna split some, you know, we're gonna make a log cabin basically. So, you know, sometimes you only got what you got, and this probably isn't the right tool for what I'm fixing to try, but we're gonna go ahead and test out our work, see, see if it works. So, bear with me. I'm not really a lumberjack, but it's all right. And it works. Oh, look at that. Let's try it again. You know, Grants Rich Brooks axes, splitting axes, are designed to split almost anything out there in the world. So, if you have to literally build yourself a log cabin, Having the right tools is the way to go. So, you know, it may be a little longer episode than you wanted to, but when we're done, you might end up with one of these log cabins. Thanks for watching our videos. Kenny with the House of Blades. I appreciate you watching our video. We're going to continue to try to make more videos uh, from the days to come and we hope that you'll keep on tuning in and if you have anything that you want us to do or want us want to see just let us know when did you realize it was all going wrong <laughs> as soon as I saw it <laughs> 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 well that's why I said it's my first time and part of doing it correctly is paying attention to what you're doing and know what, what you're doing so yeah. in life you're gonna make mistakes it's, it's how you rebound from those mistakes is what makes you great. So, not to say this is gonna be great, but we're giving it a whirl. Boom, hammer drop.